A challenging second quarter and a sales decline in North America isn't getting Mattel's CEO down. That's because it's the summer of Barbie. Starring Margot Robbie, the movie phenomenon has already sold $356 million in tickets globally. Inon Kray says they've captured a cultural moment while hinting that the holiday shopping season could be strong for Barbie-related toys. Now, this is a crucial area for the business, especially as Mattel only gets a fraction of the sales from its myriad of brand partnerships. Kray spoke with Yahoo Finance's executive editor Brian Sozzi on all this and more. Take a listen. It is great to see the success at the box office. We could not be more proud of Greta Gerwig's visions and execution of what is now becoming a true cultural phenomenon. It was never about just making a movie. We wanted to create an event, a cultural event. And it's exciting to see uh, all of this, this vision coming to fruition. Can you, before we get into the quarter as well, can you explain to investors what other content you have coming down the pike and what does this movie mean for the potential profits from all this other content that you have coming? You know, this movie is really a showcase for the cultural resonance of our brands, our ability to attract and collaborate with top talent, and very importantly, uh, our capabilities to, to take our brands and elevate them to create cultural moments. It speaks to the potential of Mattel Films and the significant progress we made on our strategy to capture the full value of our IP. So it is an important uh, moment for Barbie, it's a milestone moment for Mattel in executing our strategy. And also it's a, it's a historic moment uh, for cinema in bringing for the first time the Barbie brand to the big screen in live action. So exciting uh, day, exciting time all around. You're right. I mean, you have captured a, the cultural, converse, cultural conversation and on. Now, within that portfolio of content that you have, are there other Barbie type movies? And, and do you run that same distribution playbook? Well, you know, for Barbie itself, this is the beginning of a journey. Success breeds success, and we're not looking to stop here in terms of how far Barbie can grow and expand in terms of additional offering and additional uh, movies, television series, and others. We also have 14 other movies in development, so we have a very strong slate of offering. And we're not saying that every movie will be as successful as Barbie, but we absolutely look to apply the same methodology, the same approach in collaborating with top talent, in trusting and amplifying their creative vision and bringing our own marketing and demand creation expertise to the table. So it's not just about owning the portfolio of a very strong uh, collection of strong brands, but also partnering with creative talent and then amplifying what they do through our own uh, marketing capabilities. And in this case, Collaborating with Warner Brothers uh, was a phenomenal success. Warner Brothers has done an amazing job in marketing the movie and collaborating with us on creating this event. Obviously, the, uh, it all starts with uh, having a very strong creative execution led by Greta Gerwig, uh, top talent, uh, incredible cast led by Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, and an incredible music offering, uh, the Barbie album produced by Mark Ronson that brought to this project, some of the most celebrated music artists of our generation. So all of this combined around the Barbie brand that to, just as a reminder, was already a very strong brand coming into this project. A strong brand, one of the top brands in the industry, the number one brand in the entire tour industry for two years in a row. And of course, a very strong platform to create something so special and so unique. Let's jump on the uh, the earnings results, uh, Anand. Does this quarter get you down a little bit? Like, ah, oh, oh, shucks, I got to report down sales and, and down gross billings at the same time where, you know, a property in this movie is just blowing up. This quarter, we continue to improve our position. We exceeded expectations, both at the top line and the bottom line. We grew our free cash flow by more than $200 million and are still guiding free cash flow to exceed $400 million for the year. So we feel very good about this quarter and believe the company is set to achieve the guidance that we put out for the full year. Within uh, that free cash flow outlook, and on how, how do you plan to use that cash? Well, we talked about our capital allocation priorities in terms of continuing to invest in organic growth for the company, 
continue to manage our balance sheets and and maintain and strengthen our put for, uh, our our uh, position financially and as you know we recently achieved investment grade uh, rating which was an important milestone in our turnaround to achieve in terms of our financial resilience and strength we look to continue to to pursue opportunities in terms of corporate development m a and the like and also continue to purchase shares to manage and optimize our our uh, our uh, overall financial standing and, uh, and 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 balance sheet as a whole so it is part of our capital allocation priorities and being uh, generating cash and having a strong financial profile is now becoming another important lever to execute our strategy we've been talking uh, the past few quarters and on about a more cautious consumer uh, and i see your sales down in this quarter are consumers spending a little bit more are you seeing any improvement there yes we do expect to see a whole a positive holiday season overall but we have seen softness in the second quarter more than we expected in the industry that said pos trends have improved significantly in heading into the third quarter to date and we expect both total company and of course barbie uh pos to be positive for the year I think you're going to get a lot of questions, Anand. On, given the popularity of the movie, you did beat uh, expectations, at least relative to analyst estimates for this, this quarter. Why not come out and raise your earn, earnings guidance? You know, do you think Barbie has that power for this holiday season where you can see a lot of toy sales? Well, we could not be more excited with where Barbie is today. Of course, the phenomenal success of the movie is an important driver. Uh, that really speaks to the strategy. This is not just about the quarter, it's about our strategy, our long-term franchise management strategy. But we still have two thirds of the year to go in terms of our business. We're seeing softness in the industry and we are maintaining guidance and expect to continue to grow share and uh, strengthen our position for long-term growth. I did not miss the fact that your inventory was down year over year. Uh, you've worked hard to get that inventory in the right shape. Are you happy with your inventories now? And is the retail inventory correction that you've been talking about, is that over? Yeah, we've done a very good job managing our inventory. It's down over $200 million. And we're seeing an important improvement in retail inventory. By the end of the second quarter, retail inventory in dollar terms were down double digit relative to uh, uh, double digit percentage relative to last year we believe the retail inventory correction is mostly behind us this is what we expected entering the second quarter and we're seeing it playing out and therefore we do expect the industry to uh, to have a positive holiday season and for us to continue to gain share given our success in executing our strategy you're losing your right-hand man, Anand, and uh, Richard Dixon. Uh, he's decided to accept the role over, over a gap. I mean, it, it's a tough loss, right? Yeah, Richard is a friend. He's a colleague. We've been uh, doing this together since I joined the company, and we've had a great run. We wish him success. He's a great executive. And one of his greatest accomplishments at Mattel was to develop and build a very strong team around him. We're promoting two world-class executives to overtake what he did, in terms of uh, managing our franchises. This is Lisa McKnight, who will run the doll portfolio, sorry, the, the toy portfolio, the, the, the categories, and all of our global brands. And Joe Silverman, who will run all of the non-toy related commercial activities. Two world-class executives surrounded by a team of uh, excellent executives. We could not be in a better position today. It's, it's a moment in time. This is a juncture for the company following the Barbie movie, all of our product offering product for 2024 is already in place. We're now looking already into 2025. Mm -hmm. And with that, the team is ready and we are excited about the next chapter for Mattel. And uh, lastly, before I let you go, what's, um, what's left for you to accomplish? So I would say check done on the turnaround. You've achieved that. Uh, improved balance sheet, check done. Uh, Barbie movie, check done. I mean, what else do you have left to do at Mattel? Well, we're just getting started. We could not be more excited about the road ahead. The company is an exciting position. We achieved a milestone, but we're not done. And there's a lot more to capture. We could not be more excited about the opportunities for us within the toy categories. And on top of it, everything we look to do 
in, in continue to expand our entertainment offering. So expect more to come. I tried uh, to maybe pull off a Ken outfit. Uh, no, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I try. I just I can't wear pink. But, you know, I, I do, you know, support Ken, and, you know, everything he's up to. And on cries, uh, always good to see you. Congrats on that movie success. It's been a, a heck of a month for you and your team. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Mattel CEO Enon Crazy with Yahoo Finance Executive Editor Brian Sozzi. Great stuff.